Well, I would have to say President Biden has to be thrilled. I mean, he can rest easy now because he's got a proven loser campaigning for him. So he's got to be just super excited about that. But, you know, when you take what, what John Kerry said and you actually think about it, preventing that an all-out war, World War III, has been avoided so far, all of our adversaries are flexing on us. They're getting more aggressive because they know how weak President Biden is. Apparently now, Pakistan and Iran are, are, are fighting. I didn't know about that. I just saw a news feed come through. So there is continued escalation. There, there's more and more war going on because of what President Biden brings to the table, which is essentially nothing. He's a guy who's there. He's sitting there. He's not doing much. He doesn't show any strength at all. And our adversaries are, are picking up on that. Mm. Cheryl, how do you see it? Well, okay, let's let's talk about this. China uh, incursions against Taiwan. That's likely going to happen, especially between now and May, before that new president uh, actually takes office. That's a lot of time. Uh, okay, Ukraine. Russia, uh, that has erupted under this president. Uh, and then, of course, as we reported at 630, uh, Iran, uh, the Houthis, the proxies, the Middle East in general, the entire region, Afghanistan, Maria. Uh, so, you know, yeah. John it all Ke started after the botched withdrawal from Afghanistan, Cheryl. Mm -hmm. You're spot on. That's when all of our adversaries decided to get on the march when they saw what took place in Afghanistan. Exactly. That is when they saw the United States as weak and they saw Biden as weak and it's never come back. That was the turning point was Afghanistan. Uh, but I will say this. John Kerry is the wrong person to be out there, uh, you know, I think campaigning for Biden because he's been a complete failure in that climate czar role. Uh, you know, he, he, how how many times have they kowtowed to China? China is producing and importing more. They're, they're producing more coal and they are importing more oil than ever. And guess who China is buying oil from? Russia. Uh, you know, who are they buying oil yep. from? Iran. We're getting laughed at on a global stage, Maria. It's, we're very, very dangerous times. And I'm, I'm assuming that that's a lot of the conversations that you're hearing at Davos is about yeah. about the potential for, yeah, World War III. I hate to say that, that phrase, but it's true. There's mm. a lot of worry out there. There is actually the largest delegation of Chinese leadership here in Davos, the largest delegation since 2020. Unbelievable. Here. It really is. I believe right well, now. Uh, yeah. We're being we're being laughed at. We're being laughed at. Mm-hmm.